Hello everybody and welcome back to Trucking USA. So we're going to carry on where we left off working towards getting our first truck. So in the last episode we went from Portland to Newport and today I've set us up with a new job from Portland to Pendleton. So we're going to be doing that, it's 203 miles. It's not very far, but that's as far as we can go at the moment. I am going to be working towards getting us our first truck. So what I might do, I might do back-to-back -back jobs in this episode, and we'll get that done and out of the way. So we're going from Portland, Oregon, to Pendleton, Oregon, and we're going to get 6,656. We're taking the Volvo VNL today. So yeah, that pretty much covers the intro. I'm going to do this video as a time lapse like I did with the uh, Trucking EU version. So I hope you enjoy the video. And we're back. So we're pretty much at the delivery point now. Ooh, look at all those uh, combines and farm machinery. That's cool. Um, anyway, so we're at our delivery location now. We can get this massive tank dropped off. And get it in the parking bay. See where we're up to. Hopefully, I can get this in okay. 
without too much uh, of a problem. Fingers crossed anyway. We'd hope if I knew where the box was. Right, so I've straightened up where's the box. So right. we're a little bit off. We're a little bit off. If I pull forward <clears throat> and put full lock on to get the trailer to go over in that direction. Should push it towards the box. Like so. Theoretically. Mm, yeah, we might just have that. Might just have it. Why does it look like there's no wheels on the back of this trailer? And slide it in. Beautiful. And we're in. Get out of gear and brake on. Engine off. And detach the trailer. Okay. We did 203 miles. It was four hours in game. 30 gallons of fuel used. So we got $6,594 and 328 XP. Plus 62 for parking, uh, 62 dollars for parking the trailer. Another 40 XP, uh, another 40 XP for parking the trailer. That brings us to 6,656 dollars and 368 XP, and we've leveled. So we're going to put another point in long distance so that we can get longer journeys. And we got an email while we was driving. So driver's equipment needed, right? Okay. So, still nowhere near what we need to be to get the bank loan, if I'm right. Yep, so we're still only on the 100,000, we want the 400,000 loan. So, let's take another job, and let's see what we've got. So, we are currently in Pendleton. Let's see what's available. We've got Pendleton to Salem, another 230 miles. Let's take that. So, ooh, we're taking a triple trailer with scrap cars on it, and we're in the Mac Anthem. That is very good. I think we will use that for a thumbnail. And there we go. Right, so I'm going to go back into a time lapse. Enjoy the video.
And we're back, and can I just say, oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> this has been a ridiculous journey. I mean, I just want to sort of like start out with saying diversions, yeah, great idea. Just stupid places to put them. So, on that one that we unfortunately had that accent on there um, they put the diversion on a bottleneck so it was the only road in and out of Salem unless you did a 200 mile I think it was either 200 250 mile diversion right round and back in through the south into Portland so Obviously, in real life, a diversion, argument's sake, a motorway, highway, whatever you want to call it, autobahn, um, is closed. You would just come off at the exit before, go through the town or whatever local area, and then you come back on the motorway, autobahn, highway, whatever you want to call it, um, after the area that was closed. Now, the problem with Eurotruck Simulator 2 an American Truck Simulator is the road system does not have local roads it is highway that is it you know bar when you're actually in a town it is literally all just highway so when you put putting diversions down in the game why block something that is like a bottleneck like that was then and make you have to do a 200 odd mile diversion. It's just ludicrous. If you're going to do stuff like that in the game, don't get me wrong, I love the idea of diversions and random events and stuff like that. I absolutely love it, it's great. But when stuff like that happens, it is just stupid. It is ridiculous. And if they're going to put stuff like that in, they need to add more roads around the local area. So that when you are doing a diversion, you can divert properly. You not have to do a 200 odd mile diversion just to get to where you want to go. Because I'm ranting, I'm stalling the truck. That's it. Yeah, not have to do a 200 odd mile diversion just to get to where you want to go. I, I don't get the logic in that. So, in the end, I lost my rag. And... I just push through it, which you can do, because usually there is a bit of space for you to get through. But, yeah, so, sorry for breaking immersion on that one, guys, but that was ridiculous. It made me drive an extra, I think it was 80 miles, to come back round to the same roadblock. So, I just got to the point where I was like, yeah, not having that. So, I apologise for breaking immersion on there. So... Oh, and the truck that hit me was my fault. Didn't look properly before I pulled out. But yeah. Anyway, we are pretty much at our destination now. And hopefully, we get a little email from Mr. Bankerman saying that we can have a loan from him. Because that is exactly what we're after. We want the Mr. Banker man to put his hands in his pockets and give us a nice substantial loan so we can get our company started. That is exactly what we want. Why would... Now, here's a question. Why would you deliver scrap cars to a quarry? Is it just me? Or does that not make sense? Unless there's something at the end of this road that is different, maybe? I suppose we'll find out in a second, because we're nearly there. Oh, we're just taking a shortcut through the quarry. That's, uh... 
That is very different. So what is this place? What have we come to? Right, so we need to... Is it this one? No. Next one, isn't it? Yeah, it's the next one. Right, so we're going to have to do a wide swing to get in here. Because we have got three trailers on the back. And hopefully they all come round properly. Yeah, they did. Good. Oh, is it like a refinery? Yeah, it looks like some kind of refinery where they probably melt the cars down. Yeah, yeah it looks like some kind of refinery. That's for where they melt them. So, nearly in. Oh, that's a bit short then. There we go. In position. And brake on. Engine off. And drop the trailer. Okay. So, we did 287 miles. Took us seven hours apparently and 67.1 gallons of fuel. Oh, we mustn't have taken any damage on the actual trailer or the goods, so that is decent. So, base reward of 287 miles, so 5,585, 462 XP, extra $104 for proficiency, and an extra 25 XP for manoeuvring, even though we just drove straight in forward. So that gives us a total of $5,689.487 XP. So, I don't think we got the bank loan. No, we haven't. So we're probably going to have to just do a bit more. But we have got $17,000 in the bank account now, which is rather nice. But, unfortunately, I think that is all for today. Hopefully we will get the bank loan next time and then we'll be able to actually buy the truck So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse if you enjoyed the video Please leave a big thumbs up if you didn't like the video leave a thumbs down and give me a reason why Don't forget to Subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with any future content So that's it from me. Thanks for watching and bye for now.